Hello, Leo friends. Welcome to a very special heart spread. What if I talk like this? Using the classic Gilded Tarot, my favorite deck, my oldest deck. I take good care of these cards. You're still hanging, man. Ah, how you doing, Leo? This special reading, not short bus special, kind of, but this is a Mercury retrograde reading for just that. If you have, not everyone does, not an accusation, but if you have this person that's always on your mind and you can't like shake it, you could be with your soulmate and you know you're good, you're gonna be together forever, but it's like there's this person, you know there's something unfinished, you can't quite shake it, there's unfinished business there. This is the stuff of Mercury retrogrades in Libra. Here it is. So, for Leos now, um, let me shuffle a little bit here. Um, put some energy on them. I just opened this deck and use it in a bit. And um, I'm asking for, for some clarity. I'm going to do a heart spread instead of uh, typically we're looking at you and who's on your mind and. This is the person we're talking about in a relationship. I see this as theoretical. I don't see this someone you're actually uh, talking to or getting back together with. You know, this is that person that got away. Well, I should change the reading. The one that got away, but you know how that is. And you're always left wondering, wow, mm, what if, you know, uh, or something that they get you. They go, I got it, I got it, you know. I finally let it go. There's not, it got a lot better when I did. I think I could do it. But you got to let it go. I mean, if it's not serving you. Because, uh, I mean, if you want more love, you know, love, spirit, it's going with what you're focusing on, right? So focus on this, but it can't happen. Their spirit's hands are tied. It's like, I'm trying to bring you love. I'm trying to bring you love, but it's like the door's locked and I can't open it. You know? Okay, so let's see what we got here. This is going to be... It's a timeless read. But, you know, we're talking the Mercury retrogrades winding up. Let's get a look at it here. See if we can find something constructive, okay? In this uh, heart spread here. Let's read you and your person. So I go back with this card. This is now showing you normally where your heart and mind is at in and around relationships. And yeah, it's kind of that. It's kind of, for me, a baseline, trying to get an idea of where you're at, separated from this particular relationship, this person you're thinking of. Um, and this would have gone back to a time in your life when you were in Seven of Swords energy. So uh, this could have been started as an affair. You were in the Seven of uh, Swords uh, energy. Uh, you could have been having sex with someone that you didn't know they were married, and then you found out. Um, you could have been done wrong, you know, um, this could be you just in general, having had this happen, maybe as a cycle, even as a young person, maybe your first few relationships, they end up, you know, seven of swords is like, God, you know, it's like, it's, I get it, you fall in love, shit happens. This is shady. It doesn't have to be this way. No one does this kind of thing. I'm not saying you did, but it could have been done to you. This is where you were at, though. So it's tough energy to come into a relationship with. You know, for one thing, you know, you're probably going to be looking over your shoulder like he's looking over his shoulder right there. You know, um, overall energy. You know, there's an eight of cups walking away. <laughs> if that's not the theme of the day, Leo's uh, here, ace of wands. So <laughs> very sexual, very young, uh, very hot. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I'm not sure the age here. I keep going back to kind of literally almost puberty with these readings. Um, but I'm trying to read here, you know, uh, for that retro Mercury way. You know, if someone's stuck in our heads, man, it ain't just them. You know, they're tapping into some deep program, something we really want to know about ourselves. Um, it's like we kind of know that they... Somehow they're going to embody something that we want, you know. Uh, I love strong women. Uh, they want to be strong. I do want to be stronger. Um, so, but this is kind of straightforward. 
Now, the only thing I would say about this, it feels to me right off the bat, like you're not saying you're a woman, man or woman, but say you're a woman and you're, you know, you go to your friends and, oh, you know, this is this kind of energy here. You're talking to them, man, you know how they are. It's like, you know how it happened again. A guy, you know, cheated, he stuck with my sister or my friend or, you know, he lied about it and everything, you know, and they're like, you know, well, where did you meet that one? And you're like in a bar, met him in a bar. We did it in the bathroom before we even left the bar because it was so hot. <laughs> Just saying, uh, something like that. This person here too, be fast and, uh, and hot, you know, coming in fast and hot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're thinking about this. this you know, it's funny because I'm picking it up. It's definitely true for me. I'm good now. But I thought for a while I'll never get this kind of sex again. I literally thought, like, I don't know, maybe remotely somehow I could find a person like her, but come on, a person like her and just that sex, that good. I mean, it's so amazing. You know, it's, uh, uh, but um, that could definitely be your feeling and what attracts you. But it's like at this kind of person, again, like you meet at the bar, it may not be the most stable energy. And, you know, you might find yourself with this person. Uh, I would immediately say in another cycle of them betraying you, cheating, lying, stealing, and whatnot. And let's see, page of swords. Look out of those seven swords, you're approaching them as a page of swords. And um, you are looking at them, kind of. You know, you're being a little coy. It's like you've, you've given them attention, but you're not like giving them all your attention. Um, with the swords, I see you with the seven of swords, you're protecting yourself. You know, you're only giving them a little bit. Um, you are communicating with them here. I see you, you know, you're not letting on to them how hot they are like you're just as hot for them. But I think at first you're trying to be cool, be cool about it, you know, uh, setting maybe some kind of boundary with that sword, you know, um, like, you know, not on the first date. I mean, literally uh, and um, six of swords. Now, how are they reacting to you? And this is the way you're reacting to them. Um, it's not a big energy to react to this Ace of Wands with. It's literally like the Ace of Wands is like them wanting to come in. And you're like, no, not tonight. I'm not going to come in. And the way they respond to you is like they just go away from you. They drop you. Okay? And that's as simple as that. It could be like a first date energy, you know? Um, but it's like, because this person, they, they want that fulfillment. And when you block it, you know, honestly... I'm, I understand this energy, just fire energy. So, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's be clear. First house, uh, and you have the fifth house and the ninth house, okay, energy. Um, when other people don't respond to this, it's very awkward, number one. It's like you're coming on really hard, and they're like, mm -hmm, like a Catholic girl or something. And it's like, because I don't know, I don't do this randomly, like, until I feel like it's right. So if I were just to do this and never get locked, I'd be feeling like just all kind of awkward and I don't know what, you know, it'd be, it, I'd be very careful about this. Like I don't go real fast for that reason, you know, uh, and it's a little bit like that. Um, and this, they just reacted very badly to it. It didn't have to be this strong a reaction. It's not, you really did nothing, but uh, it's not, you weren't uh, turned on. Maybe they were used to uh, really being able to turn people on this person, you know. I would be surprised, and they they were just, uh, you know, but instead of being maybe intrigued and saying, huh, huh you know, kind of wanting to hunt or, or to, you know, stalk you and get you, the kind of animal way, I mean, not like in the bad stalking way, you know, uh, it, maybe they, that instinct didn't kick in, they were just like, I am playing, I am playing this, if you're not interested in me, you know what, uh, I'm not interested in you, Leo, there they go. It's immature. I mean, it's a while ago, right? Seven of Wands. Now, this is your advice from spirit regarding this relationship. This literally means actions that are the defense of the castle, and it's the righteous defense of the castle of your son's self. I look at it too. Righteous defense of the self. He's standing in the way of that door, and he's like, you know, he's got in there, and he's like, come on, come on. I'm here. You got to go one at a time through this door. Let's do this. And, you know, very hard. You know, they could all attack him, but he is got the door there. So it's not, it's a lot easier to defend that kind of position. 
uh, because it's your position, you know, and you literally have your back up to the walls, like your home, like your castle. And you always say, you know, you fight harder. You know, fight harder defends what's yours than to take what's not yours. That's one of the, it's not a, it can often be a little bit of a difference, but it can be a big difference. And that spirit asking you to do that, you know. Um, so, you know how I get that uh, in this reading, uh, Leo. Uh, I can remember, like, it was uh, 2008 in uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, I was living. And it kind of hit me. And I was given so much of my energy uh, to different things like uh, politics then and, you know, whatever it was. But I remember thinking to myself, I'm really giving a lot of energy to this. And I um, just thought, like, it's, 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 get, I get nothing back, absolutely nothing. And it, for what? It's just negative. It's really negative. And it's not helpful. And it's just like, and I just stopped. And I got the feeling it's like that, you know, with the Seven of Swords. Uh, and now with the Seven of Wands, it's, um, you really want to defend yourself from this person that you're thinking of, this person that's on your mind, kind of haunting you from the past, uh, because it's probably draining you somehow and draining your power. Now, let's see what their advice is. I mean, you've got the overall energy of emotionally drawing away. You don't have any cups there, but it's the overall energy. Never forget the Eight of Cups is cups, it's emotions, because when you draw away emotionally from this stuff is when the magic happens, in terms of manifestation, it's just how it works. I don't make up the rules. Look at your person. This is the advice from spirit. I mean, it's kind of like the advice from spirit would be if this, somehow the person's cross-watching, don't even go there with um, the Leo, just, mm -mm. So, and you need to take that too, because this is a, a theoretical person here we're talking about, meaning it's not someone you're, uh, I'm intending it for you to be actively engaged with. Um, so this becomes advice that, you know, what, you know, you're defending your castle here. And because here, look at what you have too over here. You have uh, the six of swords and the three of swords. So this person does not want anything to do with you. I mean, they really don't want anything to do with you um, here. Um, and it's something you just have to understand. Um, even sexually, you know, it's like there's nothing there. Wow, this, it's me. <laughs> you know, I do have my heiress. Well, it actually just cleared. My heiress returns uh, cleared. It's still there, you know, still within two degrees. But a degree off for me. Uh, Eros return, you know, I had to, I wrote something about it finally, I had to really think about it, look around, not a lot about it, but, um, not, it's kind of like similar to Mars, you know, but, you know, your erotic nature gets thrown in there, um, so, I don't know, I see that there's, uh, uh actions, there's, a, really a lot of energy going into this whole thing, uh, Leo's, and, the other person is unaffected, they're irrelevant, you know, this is just the detritus of their uh, background history to you here, as kind of floating around. Um, but this energy over here of you is, is what's important. And the Ten of Pentacles is the advice. So grounding, focusing on your, your own things. Um, it is the founda foundation here of the heart spread. And it's like, I think like basically understanding that this is something from the past, meant to stay in the past. Mercury retrogrades are not meant to, for us to find old, old lovers and reel them in at that time, especially, and probably never. Um, it's probably just, it's really about understanding what went on, getting closer, particularly this one's in Libra. And that's where all the benefit is in, in where you get all your bang for your buck, right? Um, and this is, this seven of wands, it applies to me, your advice from spirit is to set boundaries, take actions. You know, you kind of did it with this page of swords. Um, it hopefully didn't get in your head in any strange way. Like, you know, well, you know what happens when you set boundaries with them? They psh, disappear, uh, you know. So this is firmly telling you it's good to set boundaries. You know, setting boundaries doesn't mean you're not open to people and everything. And um, But that's what's going to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles, you know. 
It's like, this is what I believe in, this is what I don't believe in, this is where I draw the line over here, um, this is what I value, and I don't uh, intend to debate about it, you know, this is the core value. And then you have your Ten of Pentacles become very solid. Let's see what the outcome here is. See this person being very detached from you. Justice. It's like a divorce. In some sense, it would mean a divorce. It would be like maybe you find out that the person is divorced. Um, maybe you don't know if you're divorced. Maybe you're not divorced. Maybe it's like an issue for you. But it's also Libra energy. Right now, where the retrograde is going on, so you could definitely look at that part of your uh, house. The house is, the house is the most important second for me as a Virgo rising. So I don't know uh, your rising here, Leo. Um, but it's bringing in to the outcome, the justice card. This is like aligning with your soul purpose. Um, be doing the right thing that's for you. The other person here is just, just gone, you know. I mean, mainly what's left of this person is this sexual passion, you know. And, you know, you do have the scales. You do have balance with justice as well. Um, you may need to know something in order to feel like you have this justice. I want a full clarifier on that. Well, I get the feeling they walked away. They really walked away. You, even if you had reached out to them, um, there's clearly every benefit to you to do your own thing, draw your boundaries, um, and you and yourself will be successful with the Ten of Pentacles. So let me see what it is you think you need to know. This knight is coming at the Six of uh, Swords. So Leo. There was a air sign. Uh, this would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person. And they were, it probably is, was your question in this. And maybe this is somewhere where justice comes in. Uh, maybe this person end up marrying your person here that's ha haunting you, that's on your mind, right? You can't get off your mind. Um, and they would have been, yes, actively like drawing this person in. How do you want to look at seducing them? There's no excuse. I mean, if this person had a commitment with you, my opinion, they're the ones who had a commitment with you. But yes, there was this person, uh, young, attractive, a fast moving, um, a fast talker, communicates well, um, you know, swift, um, could be a little mercenary in the way they take actions here. This person that, from the past, so that was going on um, with them, you know. Um, and with you showing up too as the Page of Swords, well, then it kind of lends me to believe, you know, that was you saying things also to uh, it, somehow try not to lose them, say what they wanted to hear without, you know, completely violating whatever boundaries you did have. Um, probably sexual at this time. So... That's all about uh, Libra uh, here, uh, energy, uh, balancing things out, um, giving justice to yourself here, uh, Leo, as you kind of let this person go and whoever their other person was, this Knight of Swords person that came in. Um, so yeah, they weren't doing any, fa any favors at that time, you know. Uh, but part of what this justice is going to be is then realizing that, you know, uh, by letting this go, you understand now that this doesn't have to repeat, doesn't have to always happen, that men are not all assholes, women are not all bitches, and that's just not how it is. And um, then, lo and behold, next thing you know, we'll be getting like a singles reader, our heart spread, you know, where now your person's coming in uh, true and clear. You know, and they're not an asshole or a bitch. <laughs> this is the main point, Leo. So thank you guys. Uh, give me like, a uh, thumbs up, tell friend, tell friend. Do appreciate you subscribing.